mwako of the holy spirit ya roho mtakatifu mwenyewe be seated hebu ketini we show you a secret hebu niwaonyeshe siri hapa we show you a secret hebu niwaonyeshe siri hapa here sikilize we show you a secret hebu nikuonyeshe siri blessed are those Heri wao who are planted by the house of God ambao wamepandwa ndani ya nyumba ya Mungu because maana he shall be like a tree atakuwa kama mti planted by the water side uliopandwa kando ya mito whose roots ambao mizizi yake are not getting nutrition from the top soil azipati chakula toka udongo wa juu the roots go so far mizizi nazama ndani zaidi to the source of the river zaidi kule chini and you and i na wewe pamoja nami must never remain on the shallow ground hatupaswi kubaki kwenye sakafu isiyo na kina we must go down to the source of life ni lazima tuingie chini ndani ya chanzo cha uzima that is where life begins from hapo ndipo uzima unapoanzia don't be deceived usipotoshwe by good preaching kwa maubiri mazuri enticement kukutongoza Don't be deceived. Usipotoshwe. By gospel salesmanship. Kwa huu injili jinsi inavyouzwa. Don't be enticed. Usitongozwe. By charisma. Na mambo ya vipawa. It's not enough. Havitoshi. If somebody pray for a sick person. Kama mtu atamuombea mgonjwa and the person got healed. Na huyu mgonjwa po. That does not make him anything. Hiyo haimfanyi huyo aliyemuombea kuwa mtu. Follow him. Usimfuate. Because people are being healed. Ati kwa sababu watu wanaponywa. We must go beyond that. Ni lazima twende zaidi ya hapo. Our roots are at the source. Mizizi yetu yako juu ya chanzo. And the source is Jesus himself. Na chanzo ni mwenyewe Yesu. His spirit lives in us. Yeye ameweka ndani yetu. When other trees are drying. Wakati mito mingine inakauka. Right now, sasa many Christians are drying. Wakristo wengi wanakauka. Right now, hivi sasa many preachers are drying up. Wahubiri wengi wanakauka. Right now, hivi sasa many so called bishops Maskofu wengi ambao wanajiita maskofu. All they can show is cars and houses. Wanaweza tu kukuonyesha magari na manyumba. They have nothing to give you. Lakini hawana chochote cha kukupa. I say have nothing. Nimesema hakuna. I've listened to them on television. Mimi nawasikiliza katika runinga. And they have nothing. Na hawana cha kupeana. Many of them have gone technical. Hata wameanza mambo ya kiufundi hesabu. The reason is sababu ni their roots mizizi yao are not at the very source of life hazijazama hadi kwenye chanzo cha uhai they think life is having a house wanadhani uzima ni kuwa na nyumba and many cars na magari mengi and many suits na suti nyingi they think that's life wanadhani basi hiyo ni uzima is not life hiyo sio uzima that's just existence hiyo tu ni kuweko tu life is the nature of god uzima ni asili ya mungu working in you ikitenda ndani yako This river mto huu is flowing from the house of God Unatiririka toka nyumba ya Mungu and you are the house of God Na ni wewe nyumba ya Mungu Sing after me Imba nyuma ya mzee Those of you who know it wale ambao wanaujua Sing after me Imba ni nyuma ya mzee Those who don't know it wale ambao hamjui Sing after me Imba ni nyuma ya mzee There is a river There is a river that flows from God above that flows from God above there is a fountain there is a fountain that is filled with God's great love that's filled with God's great love come to these waters come to these waters there is a vast supply there is a vast supply there is a river there 
that never shall run dry. That never shall run dry. We will sing to Taimba about that river. Kusum Tohu. Together. Pamoja. There is a river that flows from above. There is a fountain that's filled with God's great love. Come to there is a vast supply. This river that never shall run dry. Sing it again. There is a river that flows from God above. Filled with God's great love. Come to these waters, there is ever supply. There is a river that never shall run dry. Now, Jesus. We have left tumeondoka tukaacha the safety area ile eneo ya usalama the comfort area eneo la stare where our feet are to the ground mali migu yetu imekanyaga chini udongoni in case things go wrong tuko tayari kama tu mambo yataribika we can run away tunaweza toroka but the water is still up to here lakini maji yamekuja hadi hapa. But the feet are on the ground. Lakini miguu bado ingali chini. Why are the feet on the ground? Ni kwa nini miguu iko chini? It's because you are safety conscious. Ni kwa sababu wewe unajali usalama wako. If I go further than this, nikienda mbali kuliko hapa, things may go wrong. Mambo yanaweza haribika. And I may never correct it. Na inawezekana nisisawawishe. That's why most of you can't enjoy this. Hiyo ndiyo maana wengi wenu hamwezi kufurahia mambo haya. You are here, you are in God uko ndani ya Mungu in the holy spirit ndani ya roho mtakatifu but you have your old religion hindering you lakini uko na dini yako hapo ndani inakuzuia you have your tribal barrier hindering you uko tu na ukabila yako ndani yako inakuzuia risk it basi ihatarishe risk it ihatarishe go nenda where swimmers are mahali ambapo ogeleaji wako i hear swimmers enjoy life nasikia waogeleaji wanafurahia maisha a preacher was going to be with the lord mhubiri mmoja ambaye ameenda kuwa na bwana his name was apollo jina lake alitwa apollo told me jo kaniambia jo camp mombasa jo mombasa this time i will teach you to swim mara hii nitakufunza jinsi ya kuogelea so and mombasa kwa hivyo nikaenda mombasa Like Joe Kayo that I am. Na unanijua tu kama Joe Kayo hivi. I bought the best swimming costume. Nikanunua mavazi ya kuogelea iliyo bora zaidi. Very expensive. Gharama yake ya juu zaidi. Fitting with my name. Ambayo inatoshana na jina langu. And I walked across the, the, the shore the sand. Nami nikatembea pale kando ya bahari. Those who saw me wale ambao waliniona pale they concluded he must be a good swimmer. Hao lazima walitamatisha kwamba huyu yumkini ni muogeleaji mzuri. Look at this costume. Hebu angalia mavazi yake ya kuogelea. Very expensive. Ya gharama ya juu sana. He walks even like a swimmer. Na tena hata matembezi yake ni kama muogelea. But I never knew how to swim. Lakini sikujua hata kuogelea. So having a good costume <laughs> Sio kuwa na mavazi mazuri. Having a good costume. Kuwa na mavazi mazuri. Is not swimming. Sio kuogelea. <laughs> Singing a choir. Kuimba ndani ya kwaya. Is not swimming. Sio kuogelea. I know you heard me. Mimi najua umenisikia. And I'm not I'm not going to apologize. Nami sitaomba rani. 
hearing praise and worship team dance ukiona kikundi cha sifa na kuabudu wanacheza is that no swimming hiyo sio kuogelea the man went to the to the sea huyu mtu akaingia ndani ya bahari i followed him nikamfuata said come kaniambia njo i followed him nikamfuata come njo i followed him nikamfuata when water reached me at the waist wakati maji yalipofikia kwenye kiuno i said you want to teach me nikamwambia sasa kwa sababu nataka kunifundisha kuogelea come teach me here kuja unifundishe hapa pale niko he said no akasema hapana the rule of swimming Sheria ya uogeleaji. You come to the deepest. Unakuja mahali lipo. So water can you hold you up? Ili maji ikaweza kukushikilia. I said that is water. Nikasema hapo ni maji. And this is water. Na hapa ni maji. Come and teach me here. Leo unifundishe hapa. When you come to this swimming of the spirit. Unapokuja huku kwa uogeleaji wa roho wa Mungu. You don't you don't you don't swim by your own conditions. Hauogelei kwa masharti yako mwenyewe. You swim by the Bible conditions. Unaogelea kulingana na masharti ya Biblia. I left Mombasa without knowing how to swim. Nikaondoka mji wa Mombasa bila kujua jinsi ya kuogelea. Until now, hadi saa hii. The river is flowing. Mto unatiririka. Go to the swimming area. Nenda katika eneo ambao unaweza kuogelea. Don't remain here. Usibaki ukingoni. Don't remain here. Usibaki hapa. Don't remain with the choirs. Usibaki na makwaya. Don't remain with praise and worship teams. Usibaki na vikundi vya Don't remain with the dancers. Usibaki na wachezaji wako. Go alone. Nenda peke yako tena. They can't swim on your behalf. Hawawezi kuogelea kwa niaba yako. Hallelujah. I am told ninaambiwa that swimming kuogelea is a whole body exercise ni mazoezi ambayo inajumuisha sehemu zote za mwili the other exercises mazoezi namna nyingine you can do to pull your stomach back zingine za kumaliza tumbo or build misuli ama kujenga misuli zako or bones ama mifupa or swimming lakini kuogelea is everything ni kila kitu because when your mind is there maana hata nia yako inajumuisha if you lose your mind you may sink Uspo ukipoteza nia yako unaweza kuzama. So your mind is working too. Wewe nia yako lazima ifanye kazi pale pia. Now, sasa you women, nyinyi wanawake, stop being the divas. Acheni kujifanya madiva. Stop being divas. Acheni kujifanya madiva. In the house of God, we are not divas. Katika nyumba ya Mungu hakuna vidosho. We have no ladies who come there fragile to be noticed. Hakuna akina mama ambayo wanaingia hapa hivi wako wamejikwatua ati waonekane. The kingdom of God ufalme wa Mungu is taken by violence. Inachukuliwa kwa fujo. And the violent na wale wenye fujo take it by force. Wanauchukuliwa kwa nguvu. <laughs> you must be violent. Lazima uwe na fujo. You must be violent. Lazima uwe na fujo. Against yourself. Kinyume chako mwenyewe. You men, inyi wanaume. You are a man where you come from. Amen. You are a man where you come from. Inyi wanaume, lakini uko mali umetoka kwa ofisi zenu. The house. Kwa nyumba yenu. You are men there. Huko nyinyi ni wanaume. Here, hapa we are swimmers. Hapa sisi ni waogeleaji. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hello, mwanisikia. Every one of you today, kila mmoja wenu leo, must make sure you leave this hall. Lazima hakikishe kwamba umetoka ndani ukumbi huu. Flowing. Ukiwa unatiririka. <laughs> 